YouTube, good day to you guys. Hope you guys are doing well here. Yes, I haven't made a video like this in a while. It's, I find it difficult um, to make these type of videos here um, as my daughters are uh, here and they are very active. So it's hard if it's um, pretty loud for me to have to focus, well, hard to focus. But anyway, this video, um, <clears throat> this is gonna be a response to my buddy, Mr. Ramirez, Alfredo Ramirez. So um, yeah, before I start, I got a, my buddy Ramirez. I hope you didn't, I hope you didn't, I hope you didn't think that I forgot about making this video for you. I got your request like a couple weeks ago. And also I saw that you had a birthday. So happy belated birthday to you. So let's get to it. So here's his, uh, he's okay. So just wondering if you have a video about the limit of languages one can learn to a high educated level, as well as knowing the culture and expressions. If you have it, please send it my way. If not, it might not be a bad idea for a new video to make. Okay. So, um, very interesting question. I can't remember if I made a video. I probably did maybe three or four years ago. I don't, I don't remember, but, um, I have some things here written down some um, points here um, for this uh, topic so for me um, it's a yes and no for this question yes there are limits and then no why and I have some points written here so I'm gonna focus on a no first so for no I have time four four points time money uh, strong will and motivation so let's, let's, let's focus on the time for a minute. So we all know that it takes time to learn a language, a lot of time, okay? And to get to this particular level, now he's saying like high educated level as well as knowing the culture. This sounds like a native level to me. I, I'm pretty sure that's, you guys would agree that's what this is. So it, it's gonna take a lot of time. So you're gonna need time to buckle down and focus on a language, on this, whatever language that you're learning to get to this level. And see, before you go to the um, to this country, what I would do is spend at least six months, at least six months, get to at least an intermediate level. Um, once you feel that you're conversational, you feel comfortable with some limitations, then I will go to the country and spend another six months. And I believe in a year, if you do that in a you know a year, that whole that the six months you spent over there, I think you can reach that level in that short, in that amount of time. Maybe I would say probably if you go spend six months there and then well maybe a year. So that would be what a year and a half. But I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just go with a year because I think it's possible. So that's time. And then um, some people say, oh, how you, you know, in a year? See, on top of that, you have to, you're gonna need time to focus every day and put a lot of time into the language. See, it's like this, the more time you put in, the less time it will take to reach that level the the um what was it the less time you put in the more time it's going to take so i mean it takes time to learn but you got you guys know what i mean the more time you put in it's you're going to shorten that time you know w the time to reach that level so time is definitely an important factor when deciding to reach this level okay money so money some people may say oh you don't need money why do you think you need money to you know travel well, plane tickets cost a lot of money. If you plan to go live in this country for six months to a year, you need money for the plane ticket. You need money for food. You need money for lodging or, you know, unless you have friends you want to stay with, but you know, um, you're going to need money for that. And then random things that happen. You don't know what will happen. You, you just need money saved up or something before you even go over to this country. Um, so money is definitely important here. Um, strong will you need this strong will to be able to well go into a country you, you have to have some strong will, strong will to do that especially if you've never been in the country before it's very um, not everyone has the guts to travel to a different country let alone to a country where the language their native language isn't really spoken so you have to be will about that and then you have to be strong willed on trying to interact with people this takes a lot of guts it's not easy. It's something not everyone can do. So if you're having a hard time with this, then it's going to be very difficult for you to pr make progress in the language. You can't, you can't, you can't make progress in language just by reading books and you know sitting at home all the time. I mean, yeah, it may be good for some vocabulary and whatnot, 
but you're going to need this full interaction with native speakers um, to really get into the culture and learn these expressions and learn, you know, try to be like them. This is this this takes interaction. So um, you have to be strong willed for that. And then motivation, of course, motivation is probably the most important factor here. If you don't have motivation, you won't even have the thought of, uh, of getting on a plane, going to a different country. You won't even be thinking about that. So you need motivation um, to start anything and anything that is going to require time effort you need motivation otherwise you won't even you won't even put the effort and time into it so um you, you're going to need that motivation to get this thing jump started so that's the no now i know you guys say why you keep saying to the country go to the country because i feel that like um so if you go <clears throat> if you're in the, it's easier if you're in a country it, it's because because of the exposure you're around the language every day, you get a job, and you just hear the language every day. It, it, it makes it easier to learn the language. Now, I'm not saying that you can't get that in your own country, but if you want to learn, if, if you want to learn a language like in a shorter time, then you have to go to the country. Like you, you just have to. You have to go there and, um, and spend that time being immersed, working. You know, every aspect, you got to use that language. You know, stuff, you, you in an apartment, something goes wrong, you need to be able to use a language. I mean, every aspect, you, you need that to reach that native level. That's just how it is. Am I wrong? You need, you, that's what you need. Now, like I said, I'm not saying that you can't reach that level in your own country, but there is a limit when it comes to learning um, many languages to that level because you can't, it's difficult to get that type of exposure in your own country. Um, I mean, yeah, we have places like you can be living in a Chinatown somewhere or whatever, but you know, you guys know it's difficult. So you're going to have to be overseas to get adequate exposure, um, to, you know, to the language. So that's why I'm saying, that's why I keep mentioning going overseas, overseas, because that's probably the, what you're going to have to do if you're planning to learn many languages to that level. So, um, okay, let's go to the yes. Uh, I'm trying to stay on track here. So I have four points here. Old age, location, lack of adequate exposure, and then lack of confidence. So I hope I'm not repeating myself here, but okay, old age. I didn't mention this old age. Now, <laughs> we always hear people say, oh, you're, you're never too old to learn. And I agree, you're never too old to learn. However, when you get to a certain age where you, you become like maybe senile or you just... You, you can barely take care of yourself. We see this all the time. Very, very old people, uh, most of the time they're being put in like nursing care, nursing homes. They can't really take care of them, so they need someone to take care of them. So they need someone else to take care of them. See, when you get to that age, that's the limitation there. That's when you're going to have a limit because you can't, what, what are you going to do? You can't learn anything. You, you can't even take care of yourself. You can't even wipe your own behind. So <laughs> if you can't do that, how are you going to learn another language? So that's why I say old age here. As long as you're, you know, you could be old and still learn. As long as you're still healthy, you know, you don't have any problems, health issues, you'll be fine. Um, location. I guess this is something I, I may sound like I'm repeating myself, but location, again, goes back to what I was just saying. Um, you're going to be limited if you're not in that country. So if I'm here in America, I'm only going to be and I want to learn these native languages to a native level. I'll probably be able to learn maybe two you know maybe two maybe three depending on where i am okay um you gotta look at the populations and then you gotta look at well am i able to um hang out with these people are there places where i can hang out with the people are there places where i can work to get more exposure see you have to look at all this and see this this is difficult so this is why i put this in the yes category location because it's a you know think about it like, I mean, if you don't have those people around to get the adequate exposure, how are you going to get to that level? It's just not possible. And like I said, you can't be sitting at home reading books all day, watching TV. You know, you can get good and you can learn a lot of stuff, but it's not the same as being immersed and interacting with someone. You're actually at their house. You're going to parties with them. You, 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 you hanging out at clubs and stuff. You with the, you, it's like, you're like family. 
And this is the type of exposure you have to have in order to reach this level. So the location is, is, is definitely a factor here. Lack of adequate exposure, that goes hand in hand with the location. If you don't have the exposure, you're not going to get, you're not going to get past intermediate. Like you're not, like if you're not getting out there and, and, and um, if you're not getting out there speaking and trying your best to understand more of the culture or whatever, um, you're not going to get past I would also say advanced. You're not going to get past advanced level. You're not reaching intermediate. You're not reaching in, um, a native level in that language. It's just not going to happen. Um, and then lack of confidence. This goes hand in hand with the, um, the strong will. You have to be confident in order to use the language. If you're shy, you think you're too introverted, you're going to have a problem. It's, it's really difficult to make any progress in the language where when you don't have confidence and you're not strong will. Okay, this is just something that you need and there's no shortcut, shortcuts around it. So, um, but yeah, that's my video response to Mr. Ramirez. So yeah, I think you can learn as many languages as you want, but then at the same time, you gotta look at what you're trying to do. If I learn a language to a native level, then what? What am I gonna do? Okay, if I'm here in the States and I don't plan to travel, I learn, I don't, it doesn't matter what language it is, when I get to that level, what am I going to do to maintain that level? Like, um, then what? You have to have some sort of goals, otherwise you're wasting time learning all this stuff and not being able to use it. So you have to take that in consideration as well. You have to think about the goals, you have to think about the future. What are you going to do in the future? Then you can start putting in this time and you know, all this effort to learn the language. Am I right? Is that, does that make sense? I think it makes a lot of sense. So um, that is it. I'm gonna end this video and oh man, I was able to do this peacefully. My girl's nice and quiet, but I, I gave them something to um, keep them keep, keep them quiet. But um, yeah, um, like I said, I try to make these videos when I can. It's not easy. Um, it has to be quiet. Um, you know, you guys know, if you got kids, you understand what I'm saying. So that is it for this video. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, thanks for viewing. And um, yeah, thanks, Mr. Ramirez, for posing this question. And uh, I'll see you guys. Take it easy.